So Taiwan was the first country that decided to establish an oncology specialty. And National Taiwan University Hospital then decided to have a department of oncology to set up a multidisciplinary care and to catch up the modern art of oncology care. The mission is to take the best care of the patient and also to do the best education to all the cancer disciplines. Every year, more than 10,000 new cancer patients visit our hospitals. They come to National Taiwan University for diagnosis and for treatment. So we treat cancers such as lung cancer, colon cancer, liver cancer, gastric cancer, breast cancer, and many, many other uncommon type of cancers. Each patients are managed by their case managers and they were treated by medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, surgeons, internal medicine doctors, and many other specialties in this field. We introduced the multimodality treatment team's concept into our cancer treatment. Therefore, patients now only treated by the specialties prescribing the treatment, but they also taken care by people such as nurses, nutritionists, pharmacists, research nurses, etc. Cancer patients, especially late-stage cancer patients, are not satisfied with the center of care that we can provide them today. Many of them want to receive novel treatment or new regimens. This can be done under clinical trial environment. Since 1993, we have run late-phase clinical trials in Department of Oncology. But more than 10 years ago, we introduced our phase one center. Currently, we are running more than 40 early phase clinical trials and more than 100 clinical trials in clinical trial center of Department of Oncology. We discuss the protocol with them and get their informed consent, and they will participate in the clinical trials along with us in this scientific venture. Many of them, after receiving new treatment, had to derive the benefit from the clinical trials, and we thank them for their enthusiasm and thank them for contributing to the future cancer care. My major is studying the GI cancer, mainly focus on colon cancer and the gastric cancer. Colon cancer is the number one cancer in Taiwan and Asia, and gastric cancer is the Asia-Pacific cancers. We have a national program to screen colon cancer. No matter uh, female or male patients uh, more than 50 years old, every two years, the government will provide an immunofecal or car blood test. Catering Informa is uh, one of our hospital uh, expertise. It's probably the only cancer related with the uh, microorganism. It's the Helicobacter pylori. This is a microorganism HP related, so its uh, antibiotic uh, can be uh, successful to treat this cancer. We established this Genomic and Precision Medicine Center of the uh, College of Medicine in order to uh, do medical research on cancer patients. We know that for target therapy, we need to know the genomic abnormalities of the patient's tumor. Therefore, we did a lot of analysis on this and feedback this information back to the physician so that they can use this information and choose the right agent for their patients. Nowadays, we are using a lot of new immunotherapy agents. In order to learn more about what's happening 
between the interactions between immune cells and cancer cells, we have to do a lot more research. So for example, this new machine that we just recently acquired can analyze uh, multiple immune cells simultaneously with different uh, stainings so that you can see in this tumor sections uh, different tumors and different uh, immune cells located in the same slides. Uh, once we study their relationships, we will be able to uh, do more research, understand more about our patients' reactions to the new uh, immunotherapy that we've given to them in the clinical trials. At this point, National Taiwan University Hospital is simply limited by space. Every day, we have to disappoint more than 100 patients who are seeking the help from National Taiwan University Hospital, but the hospital simply has no space to help them. So that is the primary reason that we are looking for another space to have another big center, try to help all the patients in Taiwan. We are so fortunate to have the help from the Foscom founder, Mr. Terry Go. He gave us a big donation to help us to have this new center ready to help all the patients in Taiwan. In the future, all the patients coming into the new cancer center, they not only having the cutting edge of treatment, the best that they can have in the world but also they are having an environment that are full of humanity. And this is how we design this hospital.